first off, I think that one of Billy's best qualities is that he understands and values um, the importance of strong, smart, complex women and surrounding himself with complex women. <laughs> um, Nina and Tanya, how have Patty and Brittany's relationship with each other evolved over the seasons? Um, and then also, how will we see the culmination of kind of their veracity play a role in season four? Nina? Um, well, I, I think that we started uh, from a place of, might I say, dislike. <laughs> uh, I don't think that we had the strongest of relationships in the beginning. I think the biggest word that kind of comes to mind throughout the evolution of their relationship is respect. I think, um, I think a little bit of letting your guard down was involved. And I think a whole lot of respect came into play. And I think audiences are going to be really, really happy with kind of how we close up shop with that relationship. Oh, I'm excited for that. Yeah. yeah I, I also think like a, both Patty and Brittany are kind of difficult people to get to know, you know? Mm -hmm. And when you have two people like that, that have been through a lot and are also kind of guarded in their own ways that like are smashed together in a situation sometimes, even though deep down, they'd probably actually be really cool with each other and get along. At first, it creates like uh, a kind of friction. So yeah, that, that's kind of realistic in that sense. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> not, not in real life, but I mean, in, you know, with people. Yeah. No, yeah, makes sense. Uh, Jenna, welcome to the Goliath Gang. Um, can you give us <laughs> can you give us a little tease and description about your character this season and how she'll play an integral role um, in season four? Yeah, another another one like this, you know, where it's sort of like <laughs> can't quite fix it, can't quite place it. It's not instant, instantly harmonious. Um, I don't know. It was just so pleasurable to come into a really well written series with you know well written characters and really well loved characters, and to be able to start loving, you know, um, getting to watch all of the previous seasons and loving those characters myself. That it was. It's, it's sort of sweet to get to come in and be a new character in that. And it's also like knowing where I get to support their culmination, right? How are we getting to, how, what, what will the audience get from the closing of those chapters and sort of how can I come in and sort of help and, and also antagonize that, right? So I think that I, I sort of add in the uh, uh, helping and a lot of the hindering of their culmination, unfortunately. Ooh, very cool. Um... What has being part of Goliath and playing these characters taught all of you most about yourself? Wow. Um, I guess I'll go first. Yeah, four seasons. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a journey. It's, okay. been a, it's, a, it's a real question. <laughs> Let's get into uh, it. <laughs> I think that I, the, I probably realized that, you know, you probably shouldn't judge judge a book by its cover like I think I actually I probably judged Brittany a lot in, like approaching this at first like I think I had a preconceived idea of like what I thought someone who could be an escort would be like which is so stupid because she surprised me every single time she's actually made the op chose the opposite thing I I tried to I ever anticipated with her so in my mind, it's the least interesting thing about her because she's just a she's just a human being. So so yeah, I guess my my takeaway from this whole thing is that like you aren't defined by what you do; it's just a choice that you make. I like that about her. Mm -hmm. oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, Thank you for sharing yeah. that. Yeah, Nina, what about you? Oh boy, um, I think for me, the best way I can kind of talk about it is it, it's a real pleasure to go to work and to be able to put on someone's shoes who isn't afraid to say what's on their mind, who doesn't have that great of a filter occasionally, um, but who holds, the, who holds a lot of compassion in her heart and who is a very vulnerable soul and who is very capable of love. So whatever goes on in your everyday life, to be able to go to work and those are the shoes you put on, I think, whether you like it or not, you're going to learn a little something and apply it to your life. And I'm just, I'm, I'm really thrilled that I got to do it with such a cool chick for, you know, for four seasons. And she's very inspiring to me, quite frankly. Yeah. I, you know, my favorite, I think my favorite moment and like 
the whole of the show is when, you know, Patty reveals to Billy that she's pregnant the way that she does it. And yeah. he's like, wait, you just told me like, you what, what, I, I can't remember the line, but he's like, you just said it like you're ordering a Coke or something like you said, it, but that was so casual. But I feel like that just is a perfect way to describe Patty. <laughs> oh, definitely. That. Yeah. Yeah. And that also, I think, stems from, you know, fear of his reaction. You know, you don't want to disappoint this person that you have this unconditional love for. Yeah. You don't know how you feel about it yet. Uh, so there's a lot layered into that, but it certainly came off with a lot of fun and humor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I loved it. Jenna, I know that you're new to the cast, but, and I know that you probably can't give away too many spoilers, but what has this journey taught you most about yourself? Um, I mean, for me, I think it was more learning about the, the myself through the character and so what's interesting about um Sam Margolis is that she's you know we're meeting her in you know basically this pain body right she's dealing with chronic pain she's dealing with a uh, sometimes debilitating medical condition um whilst also managing this very like high stakes high pace high energy high octane world of legislature right right of like the legal system, which is, there's so much, um, particularly when you're dealing with like multi-billion dollar lawsuits and taking on big pharma and, you know, deep like crisis in America. Um, it's not just like, you know, family law in the corner, you know, it's like a real like intense, intense thing. And so for me, I, I what I noticed my most thing was that how, how much of an ally as an actor I was, I was becoming for her. I was just like, she's in this pain body in a world that does not meet her does not see her and cannot support her. So how can I build a language of, um, you know, telling them like, she's not going to sit up and do uh, uh, prosecuting. Oh no, she's, she's standing down. Like it was interesting to see that come out because obviously I'm already a mom, but I felt like I mommed her a lot. And that was like, oh, that's interesting. And it's nice to know that maybe we need more allyship. We need people more speaking up to the benefit of people who are living in chronic pain or, um, you know, deep discomfort to be able to help them navigate systems that were not built for them. Right. So it's like, that was a big learning lesson for me. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like you nurtured her and, and it is with chronic pain too. It's kind of an invisible disease a lot of the time. Um, Oh, I'm so excited to see that um, unfold. As you kind of mentioned, the Goliath is the, you know, opioid industry, big pharma this year, but, um, you know, Goliath seem impossible to defeat, but they are just, you know, men or industries or whatever they are in your universe. What is your advice to women who feel like there's Goliath standing in the way of their passions and pursuits? That's for all of you. Oh. Well, the, the life in this example is is a fictive, right? So um, animals don't have legal systems. Um, they, it, that is a human belief that, right? We get to build it together. It's cooperative. It's um, it's it's fiction. Um, so a lot of these sort of things that stand in our way are really um, things that we place power in, that we we believe in, we believe into existence. And just like the, you know, pharmaceutical industrial complex, like it's literally businesses that create a system that they can benefit off of. And we become entrenched in that system. It doesn't mean that we can't build another system. It doesn't mean we can't step out of ways that we previously thought to be able to reimagine, re, you know, create new fiction around a new way to be in the world. And I think no matter what big or small uh, is standing in front of you, there's always a new way to believe in it, see it from a different angle, you know? Yes, it's very, that's very hopeful and inspiring. Um, we got to have a little something these days. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I'm like, yes. Um, what about you, Nina and Tanya? Um, <clears throat> part of it for me, as far as the lives go, uh, it's stripping somebody of their title who, if somebody takes advantage of their position, um, I like to kind of break it down and first and foremost, strip them of their title. Yeah. Because I don't want to give them any more power than they think they wield. Um, that's, that's what my, I don't know if that's advice or not, but it's certainly, I don't even know if it's advice, if it's still in practice by me, you know, but it's kind of, uh, 
you know, it's not stripping somebody necessarily. It's really kind of just checking in like, oh, you're human. You're flawed and that affects me, but I don't have to give you any more credit or power than you deserve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good reminder. It's a very good reminder. Tanya. Oh gosh. I don't want to get up too abstract with this. <laughs> do it. Do it. So well abstract. We love abstract. <laughs> I could talk about this all day. Uh, well, there are definitely like mental goliaths that, that, that we, that we kind of, that we of our own making that we, that get in our own way often. I mean, like as a woman, like, uh, uh, you know, we, uh, we're kind of products of our environment. Unfortunately, it's, 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 and, uh, we place mental barriers that were just like things that we're just accustomed to as the th things are just the way they are. It's really nice to like all, all our characters on the show are sort of, um, little variations on that, like women that are like brave enough and different enough to sort of like shake things up and, and, and twist what's like normally expected. There's a lot of bravery in all these the women sitting here, you know, which is interesting to see. Um, but uh, yeah, and also I don't think, and it's interesting with Jenna's character, with her, her disease and what she's dealing with and, and Nina of everything that Nina you've been through and Brittany too, like uh, that we're not, we don't victimize ourselves, mm -hmm. you know? It's cool. And I think a lot, there's a lot of like uh, Goliaths in this world pitted against us, like to make us believe that we're, that we're victims when, when we should not be. And that's a, that's a, that's a mental prison in and of itself. So, yeah. you know, I don't know what the lesson is exactly, but, uh, but yeah, it's been kind of inspiring in that way to see that, no, you can, you can twist it, you know, you can break yourself out of that. It, it is in your head in a, in a sense. Yeah. Oh, well. You choose not to be a victim. I think that's a really cool point. Yeah. And I think that's what's so inspiring about all of the women on the series. Mm -hmm. yeah, Absolutely. Mm. Well, this has been so lovely. Thank you for inspiring me today. And thank you for just your stunning, complex and poignant performances in the series. And just have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you, ladies. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank, thank you. you.